Hills. And we thought for Daniel Webster, it would be nice. I actually got a lot of emails from people who couldn't attend but said they wanted to make a donation. So hopefully those folks will follow up. And um, I just made a suggestion online with the email of $30. It doesn't have to be that. You can contribute whatever you'd like, or you can contribute nothing if you, if you choose to do so. I certainly would hope that folks would. It costs a lot of money, as you can imagine, to maintain a sanctuary of the size of Daniel Webster, which is in excess of 550 acres, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and really the only open grassland left on the east, certainly the south coast in Massachusetts, and, mm -hmm. and critical habitat for bob lynx and meadowlarks mm -hmm. yeah. and kestrels. It's, I've seen some great kestrel photos from, from I'm sure, from most of you, or a lot of you folks. So, so yeah, so uh, but I thought it would be a nice gesture on the part of wildlife and nature photographers, a lot of which we are here, um, to help support, again, a sanctuary like, like Daniel Webster and for the type of use. And I see a lot of photographers, I, I think back 25 years ago or more when I first started going there, uh, there were not a lot of photographers that went there kind of back in the day, as it were. And over the years, that has significantly changed. Uh, as Eric, Christopher, and other po folks that go there a lot, uh, Mark, of course, uh, you've seen the change. In fact, that's where I met Mark. Um, uh, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Broke now. <laughs> the, uh, in the afternoon blind, I meet Mark there one year. And Mark, I think he had a little point and shoot or something. Yeah. Mark was kind of just starting getting interested, I think, in taking photographs and so forth. And uh, you can tell the story, Mark. What, what so I, I, I said, gee, Sean, you know, what should I get? You know, and yeah, I get a, you know, get a Canon 7D and, you know, and maybe a 400 and, you know, a, a decent tripod. I always get a D, you know, and I said, all right, I'm thinking about it. And he said, but I'm warning you, Mark. This is a very <laughs> addicting hobby. You can spend a lot of money, and then once you get all the equipment, you're going to get tired of doing photographing around here. You're going to want to travel. And I says, well, I like to travel, so that's not a problem. And then, nah, I'm not going to spend, you know. Well, now I got the whole Magilla. And, uh, and two years ago, he invites me to go to Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun. That's right. I wouldn't trade for the world. <laughs> that's the nice thing about it, as everyone knows, is that you get to meet a lot of interesting people, go to a lot of interesting places right here in Massachusetts, in New England, and, and outside of New England. Sometimes you don't take a picture, but you meet some really neat people. That's right. You know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So anyway, welcome. Thanks again, Doug. Thanks yeah. to Mass Audubon. Uh, I'll collect the money, and I'll order the pizzas. And again, drinks, some snacks in there, and I'm sure Eric will applaud his dessert at some point. And just a, just a thought. If you ever want to exhibit as a club here, this is a you know the exhibit space, and we're always looking for, for potential shows. So, what, you know. Think that, think about that. Yeah, I've got an exhibit. I've exhibited here. I think yeah. other folks have. Uh, definitely contact them. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, folks, thanks. Will we'll you take collect. checks for a contribution? Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, if you he will, I will. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, anyone wants pizza? Five bucks?